Okay. <clears throat> Make sure I talk loud and clearly, right? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be the postpartum shedding update. So I think we're, let's see. We are eight months out and I have not experienced any shedding significantly. So just to recap, um, my first two pregnancies, I typically do get some postpartum shedding, like a good amount to where it's really, it's noticeable, usually around the edges here. Um, and this last one, so the first two I did, this last one I did not. Or it's significantly decreased. So, um, a little bit about postpartum shedding, I probably should talk a little bit about it, right? Just in case this is new. So. Some people will experience shedding in some way of their hair, uh, but it's mild or moderate or more severe. It depends on the person, I think. Um, postpartum, so after they have their baby, they and usually, I don't know, in my experience, it usually starts at about probably six to eight months, and maybe the peak is like a year, and then it starts to grow back. And all both times it happened, it grew back completely. So it's not, I guess in general, postpartum shedding is not that big of a deal in, in, in the um, grand scheme. In the grand scheme. From the, from the aspect of it, you know, it grows back. But the issue, I mean, I guess it, it's a bit weird after a while if you have like significant shedding. So you have to kind of like deal, or I guess deal with that, right? But I guess the main thing that shows that it's an issue is that it's a, what do you get, it's a um, symptom of a bigger imbalance in the system, right? So it's a symptom of an imbalance, energy imbalance. So what am I getting at here? Okay, so I wanted to see if my last postpartum experience inter introducing Ayurveda and uh, massage into postpartum period, the 40 week 40 day postpartum period had anything to do with or would do anything to decrease postpartum shedding. And it did in my case. So basically, I guess what I want to say is that people should really look into that. Um, and just to repeat again, I guess, what I did postpartum was that first 40 days rest, I did vaginal steam. I did, what else, massage of the body, uh, heat to the belly, uh, I did massage my scalp some in the body, but uh, they say do it daily, but I probably did it every other day, maybe for a few weeks, and then it kind of probably was like two or three times a week at most until like the 40 day mark, just to give people a little bit idea of like what I actually did. And I probably only massage for like a minute or two, maybe two or three minutes, maybe at most, maybe five minutes, I don't know. <clears throat> Just to say that I think the whole practice had more to do with the um, decreasing of the shedding than just massage. Okay, that, is, that makes sense, I think. Um, okay, so what else? Oh yes, and eating warm cooked moist foods throughout the 40 day period. Alright, so what else I want to say? Um, because basically, yeah, like everyone, so if anyone's not familiar with Ayurveda, it's, uh, you know, the ancient life science <laughs> medicine, <laughs> the Vedic, uh, life science or medicine. What does Ayurveda system. mean? Life science. Wait, knowledge science, of... the knowledge of life, the science of life, or something there like that. There you go. But, um, so... In Ayurveda, there are three main doshas or energies of the pretty much everything in the in existence can be um, explained away in these three main doshas. And everything has these three in it, and just in d to different degrees. So, like, even this cup would have the three doshas and just different qualities of each one. And so, each person has these three main doshas Vata, which is the more moving, drying, cold. And a lot of other qualities. Pitta is more hot and hot, uh, transformational. Uh, what else? 
Mm. There's other qualities, but for some reason I'm not thinking of right now. And then Kappa, which is more heavy, steady, kind of stable qualities. <clears throat> and so during, um, throughout your pregnancy, these, uh, these doshas fluctuate a lot. And then when you give birth, they, oh, there's a huge amount of energy is used up at one time. And then it causes a really fast shift or imbalance, I guess you could say. Shift of energy leads to an imbalance and your vata energy quality tends to get a lot higher. And so there's an imbalance of vata basically in the postpartum period. So that's the one where there's a lot of drying, cold, you, the, you have a tendency sort of toward cold, drying, uh, what is it? Your digestion is not very strong um, and you might be a little restless. And there's like a lot of other things that go with that. So, and that makes sense when you think of like the postpartum shedding because if you are, you know, um, in a state of cool, dry, less circulation basically is what that means and that's going to, you know, circulation is going to decrease from all parts of the body and that would make sense that it would cause uh, circulation issues with like your head and or scalp and like your skin to your skin and extremities and everything and that makes sense it would lead to some hair shedding and how trying to counterbalance that would decrease shedding right does that make sense am i making sense i feel like i'm not making a lot of sense <laughs> okay um let's see what else um and especially, so that I think also explains why some people will experience more shedding and some people will get less shedding um, postpartum because a lot, everyone has a different degree, I guess, of those energies in their body. So if you're someone who I think is more, and actually I don't know this 100%, I'm just guessing, okay, on this part because I don't know, I'm just wondering. If you're someone who already has like a higher tendency to be like vata, um, a vata uh, dominant dosha, so you already have those tendencies to be kind of dry and kind of cold and lower circulation, I think that the postpartum shedding would affect you more if, especially just, it would, <laughs> I mean, well, especially if you don't do anything, right? So. Uh, I guess I'm getting back to like how some people seem to have more issues with it and some people don't at all. I think it probably has something to do with the doshas, right? Just the qualities that your body already kind of naturally has. Yes, so what else was I getting at? Um, yeah, so, and then I tend to be more vata dominant in general. That's my more resting, I think, nature. And so, yeah, I can see like how my whole system was more affected by the whole postpartum um, in some ways, um, but especially with the shedding, the postpartum. So yeah, so beforehand, or the first two pregnancies, yeah, I would get like shedding mostly around here, pretty significant. I think I already said it was peaked around like eight months, nine months, ten months, and then it's kind of slowly grow back. This time, doing those aerobatic practices, massage and resting and all that stuff for the first 40 days um, I pretty much didn't get any shedding at all this time around like there was some mild shedding like up in this area and it's already starting to kind of grow back very mild though compared to what it was before um, yeah so that's interesting because uh, what is it we we're kind of taught in this world nothing <laughs> so, <laughs> so we really, people, yeah, there's like a lot of, especially in ancients, carry forth a lot of knowledge uh, to actually properly kind of care for the body during different stages of life and especially during pregnancy and postpartum. It would alleviate a lot of the issues or irritations or imbalances that people experience during these times, but especially part because that's what we're talking about today <laughs> but yeah I thought that was really interesting so to recap yes incorporating the Ayurvedic knowledge of trying to pacify the vata dosha postpartum that first 
40 days postpartum, at least in my case, showed a significant decrease in postpartum shedding. And I think anyone who has an issue with that or has any concerns or has experienced postpartum shedding before and they're worried about it at all or whatever, but they want to do something to address that, but also to balance your whole body postpartum, because that's what's really important is you're trying to balance, keep your whole body kind of healthy and balanced during that time period. They should look into Ayurveda. There you go. <laughs> and, because I don't know if, uh, yeah, I mean, Ayurvedic in general, I think would cover all of it, but there's other, like I said before, there's other cultures that have different practices that kind of incorporate the same thing where you're basically heating the body, um, massage, heating the body, giving the body warm foods and whatnot. But yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully that was clear and concise. I feel like it wasn't, but I think we're good.